Another common place that is often overlooked in the kitchen is the kitchen sink. So it is often used for food preparation and um, raw meats are often washed in the sink and therefore it is a, a potential cross-contamination point. So if you're washing raw meat in that sink and then you go ahead and you wash produce, uh, vegetables or, or fruit in that same sink, it can lead to food contamination. So my question for you, chef, is do you sometimes wash raw meat? I knew you were going to ask. <laughs> yeah. um, so sometimes, yes. Um, it, it depends on the kind of packaging that uh, okay. we have. So some of the meats, uh, if, let's say if the meat has been cryovac, for example, mm -hmm. uh, the cryovacking will put some pressure onto the meat and uh, release right. some of the, the water. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, in, the, in the absence of air, in the, in the vacuum, the water takes a, a, a sort of a strange smell, which is totally right. natural. There's nothing wrong right. with it. However, when you open the package, you have that smell. And so uh, you, you're tempted to just wash it it off and okay. which, which is probably a good idea okay. but otherwise there's just no real need of uh, washing meat that has to be cooked after that so. right but so you to answer your okay. questions yes yeah. I do sometimes okay yes. so so studies have been done that actually show that when you're washing raw meat in a kitchen sink not just are you contaminating the kitchen sink with uh, bacteria or pathogens but you're actually contaminating the area around the sink and up to a three foot radius around the sink may become contaminated well, that's interesting. In fact, uh, I'm going to go and get some uh, something in the fridge and uh, let's uh, try it out. Here we have two chicken, one that is uh, fresh and one that has been uh, packaged and, and frozen. Mm -hmm. And so as it freezes, there's a lot of water that comes out of the, uh, of the, of the bag. So th this is the type of chicken that I would definitely wash okay. yeah, uh, first before I use it. You know, we'll see all kinds of juices coming out of the, the, the chicken there. Wow. So the, uh, I'm going to wash this chicken because uh, again, as I said before, there's a, a, a fair amount of uh, a fair amount of uh, uh, juices from the cryobag bag and so on. And so that's uh, typically one uh, uh, the example of meat that I would uh, that I would wash. So I'm going to drain it out a bit, uh, and I'm going to put this on the on the board, and uh, I'm going to we might as well cut it. Okay, chef, hold on before you cut it. Um, remember that I put some glow germ into the bag um, right. and the chicken right, yeah. before you went to wash it. And let's have a look at the extent of the contamination that has occurred. Just to show um, the level of contamination every time you go to your sink and you wash uh, any type of meat. So there you have it. You just saw how the simple act of washing raw chicken in your kitchen sink can contaminate a large part of your kitchen. So take great care when handling foods to prevent the spread of microbes in your kitchen and to keep your food safe. So thank you for your help today. Well, it was a pleasure and I really enjoyed these uh, microbiology uh, lessons or reminders and uh, it really stresses out that uh, uh, that uh, food culture around, that safety culture around the, in the kitchen and uh, it's a way of life, I guess. And uh, uh, yeah, those great reminders in there really, um, you know, food safety plans and so on, we need to uh, be reminded once in a while. So thank Perfect. you. Thank you.